all of the holes. Hi all, I'm Tony. This is Esfit de Padja. Well, that was a big one last week. You know, it's one of those milestones in the build, and there have been a few along the way. The rollover and the pulling her out of the shed, and maybe one or two others. But but the keel for me that was up there, fitting the keel was up there with with those other big events. And uh, clearly, having a keel fitted now, we're getting quite close to. To the end of the build which is fantastic uh, really really looking forward to launch as i'm sure some of you are uh anyhow that was done uh, as you saw last week uh, i'd spread epoxy on the kill got it up there put the nuts on waited there then for that to cure and the next job was to take the nuts off again inside the boat and get some epoxy down the side of the keel bolts because i oversized drilled the holes a bit not a fast amount, but a bit, and just squirt some epoxy down there just to fill those holes. And it didn't take that much, less, less than a syringe full per hole. So, um, you know, it was nice to see that things were fitting nice and close. Um, yeah, got that done. And clearly then, I had to let that cure, and I filled it up, um, up into the, the, the counter bore there. So it just coated the bottom of the counter bore, put the washers in, the nuts back on, let it cure. Bushes. Lovely. Lovely. Mm, yeah, that was good. Well, the 
fuel bolts came through just a little bit too much. They were just protruding a little bit above the top of the floors. So I needed to cut those off and uh, that's not... <laughs> Well, I wanted to cut them off in such a way that it didn't spray metal filings, steel filings, all over the, the boat, you know. So that's a bit of a tricky one. And uh, you may have seen it, noticed it a week or two ago, that I bought one of these, um, like, it's the Bosch version of a Dremel, basically. Whatever you call the things, but these little mini grinder things, and it's it's the same set that you know I've got all the other Bosch professional tools. It takes the same batteries and whatever. So that's quite a nice addition. I've been a bit dismissive of these sort of things in the past, but but uh, it dawned on me a few weeks ago that I had a few little jobs that one of these would be useful for. So I bought one, and I bought some of the metal cutting discs for those. And it turned out to be the right tool to get in there and cut those kill bolts off with a bit of handy positioning of the vacuum cleaner. Uh, I will say that you know, the little metal cutting discs for these are variable in quality. Some of them cut two or three bolts and some of them broke the first time you touched a bolt with them. So, And they, they were the proper Dremel odds. Well, I bought different ones, some Dremel ones, some Bosch ones. <laughs> It's, it's not the best way, it's not the most economical way of cutting those bolts off, that's for sure. But but it did the job and it did it tidily and I could actually get in with this and cut it below, just below the level of the top of the floor, so that was great. And once I got those kill bolts cut off, I was then in the position to, to fill those counter bores, cover the entire washers, nuts, the tops of the bolts with a clear epoxy resin because I wanted to seal them against any moisture getting in there. And I've used a clear resin so I can see the nuts and the bolts and everything in there and I can monitor it visually. This one's near the floor.
And the other thing, of course, was to get the, the keel timber shaped up. The bit that was already on the boat um, wasn't shaped finally, so the, the forward end and the aft end both, need, both needed shaping. And then just to make sure that, that everything lined up beautifully, it was nice and fair. So get that planed up, sanded, and ready for some glass. The last thing I want to talk about today is, is this stuff. I've got, let me grab a chunk. I've got some of these pieces of this material. It's P-O-M, polyoxymethylene, I believe. Goes by a couple of different brand names there. Acetal will be one, but um, yeah. It's pretty good sounding stuff according to its properties. It doesn't absorb water. It's, it's a great bearing material, it's, it's hard load bearing. It's used for making bearings and gear wheels and whatever. Uh, so it's pretty cool stuff and uh, I was interested in it for um, bearings for the rudder. You know, I've, got, I've got to make the pintles and gudgeons and, and that lower rudder bearing and so I wanted to do some experiments with it. And I've bought a couple of different diameters. There's a 100 millimeter diameter and a, and a 50. Um, but the first thing I wanted to do was to was do some experiments really and this 100 millimeter lump was was a good length and I wanted to try cutting it now it's I've only got this little mini lathe you know it's not that big it's a mini lathe um, and this piece was was too long to get the tool the cutting tool up and to cut the length off um, and also the diameter is too wide to get the the tool bed out far enough so I had to come up with a, a more imaginative way of cutting it and uh, I did it as you'll see.
I haven't got it cut. I then faced it up. I mean, first thing I did was, was centre board and then faced it up and just really first experiments in machining it and it, and it machines very nicely. We're going to leave it there for this week. Um, there's some action going on around the sail drive, which I'll, I'll show you next time. Parts will arrive for that, so I'm starting to, to clean it up and get it back together. Well, I'm cleaning it up at the moment, <laughs> get ready to get it back together. Obviously, keel here behind me uh, is coming along. I need to get a fillet along there, which I'll do certainly very, very soon. Get some glass on it. And I need to get Kerry to give me a hand to get the rudder out and, and try it in position here. Have a look at it and see what's what there. So, lots to do as ever. Thank you for watching. A uh, massive thank you from me to the lovely people that support us on Patreon and via PayPal. Um, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, hit that subscribe button, all that YouTube y stuff. And uh, see you next time. Bye.